We are here today for Festival of the Arts. Good afternoon from Epcot. We're here today for Festival of the Arts. My first time this year. The festival is a couple days old. I haven't been able to go yet, so this is gonna be a fun day, especially how much figment is expressed in this in this festival. And Anthony's boss from Orlando is with me, and he got the figment popcorn bucket and didn't wait three hours because it is a mobile order this year. So how long did you wait to get it? You literally just walked up and got it? Yeah. Dang. That's gonna be and, nice. And uh, with this? Now I actually am picking it up today for a friend of mine. I'm not getting it for myself, but... I'm gonna say this. He's gonna be completely shocked when we get to the Odyssey for what they have over there. Oh, I saw videos, but I don't. I didn't know about the actual snacks. Wow, way to spoil yourself. I know. Well, it's hard to not see this stuff, but... Alright, let's go get this day started and have a fun day at Festival of the Arts. So I wasn't sure if I wanted to wear this today because I thought it was gonna be a little bit warmer. But I actually have a Figment hockey jersey, which I got like a year ago, and never wore it yet. So I figured today is the best day to do it, to do all these photos and all the photo ops. So that's going to be a great day today. Look at that figment right on top of the rainbow over there. Beautiful shot. All right, there is. The, I wonder what's going to happen to these once the 50th is over. I really do. Okay, so I've already seen all this stuff, but Rich hasn't yet. So I kind of want to get his reaction for you guys when he sees this. So let's make my way up here. The Odyssey. Wait, if you guys are new, like, comment, and subscribe. And like and subscribe to Anthony Swalks from Orlando. Figment Inspiration Station. Here's that. For this side, it's going to be the exact same thing as the Star Food. He's right here. This is what we're gonna try. We'll try both of them. Okay, ready? I wanna see your reaction. So this right here is actually the old, this is based off the old ride, when they used to have a rainbow walkthrough on the old attraction. All right. Now it's time to see your reaction. my jersey. It has the Imagination Pavilion logo on here. And the back, it says, Imagination the year that it opened. But that's what the year that the attraction opened. Hey, ready to see this? Let's go. Look at that. The name of it. Look at the, get the name. Look at that. The Figments Inspiration Station. Oh my god. Yo. Oh my god. This is going to be incredible. Go take a quick little walk through here first. Oh my lord. There they are. Loving all these figment cartoons appearing on the walls. Amazing. All right. 
by Figment Baseball. Let's go. Finder vehicle right there, that's amazing. There's a Dream Finder vehicle. <laughs> this figment animatronic right here was apparently used and the original journey into your imagination when the ride first opened. Apparently this animatronic here was actually in the ride. And they brought it here for Festival of the Arts. Amazing. Now the best part about the Figment Popcorn Bucket this year that it's mobile order only. You pick it up here at Odyssey and they're all and they all are already right there, ready to go. Amazing. Yeah, this is how this works. Okay, souvenir release and the uh, trailer. Are you rich? Yep. Are you good? You want one of these? Yep, that's you know it. Huh? You want to help with? Yep, I do. That's great. Great, thank you. Enjoy. I appreciate it. I ended up picking up the bucket for a friend of mine. The only difference compared to last year is that it says Epcot 40 on it. Other than that, there's no really difference on the bucket. It's pretty much the same. And over here at Odyssey, we got, what is this called again, the rainbow cake? Yeah. So we got the rainbow cake and the figment grape smoothie, which this cup you could actually take yes. home. All together, this was 1025. That was so good. Yeah, because you already drank it. Oh, well, I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna try the fruit cake. Is this a rainbow cake? Consider a rainbow cake or a fruit cake? It's like a rainbow cake. Great. Right? What's actually on it? Like, is this? It's a, it's Skittles. And the little Skittles that are basically just like... Like rainbow Skittles, kind of? Yeah, and they smashed up Skittles. All right, let's try it. That's our Skittles. It's definitely fruity, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, that's very sweet. You want to know the truth? Huh? I think the Skittles on top are sour Skittles. What did you think about this? Now, how did you eat it? I just drank it. Now, for me, it's like, like I, had, I, had more, I had more crunch up Skittles on mine than yours has. Yours is better than mine. I can tell you that right now. Huh. All right, I'm going to try with the spoon first just because. Look at that in there. Ooh. Okay, that's a little too. I don't know. Okay. Let's Got try. it. Mmm. You guys are close now, to work. Oh, don't come on. Now, one thing is, I actually love grape soda, and this grape smoothie is really good. And the cool part is, it's actually a souvenir. You can take the cup home, and it has figment on it. There, look, here's... Yeah, that's what it looks like when it's all finished. 
I do like the food. Yeah, the cake is okay. It's not my favorite. But I at least wanted to try it. Okay, this grape smoothie, in my opinion, is amazing. I love this. Like I said, especially the fact that I like grape soda and stuff like that. But I feel like this would be better with just like whipped cream on top of it. The candies, they're not necessary. But honestly, this drink, absolutely incredible. But can we talk about how much I love this room? Like, it's literally all things figment. And honestly, I feel like at Professor of the Arts, they should make the Odyssey building where the figment meeting greet is and make this a figment station in general. That would be really, really cool. We'll definitely take some more videos of this place though, once we're all done and getting situated. So yeah, the only difference of the bucket this year is the strap says a cup for you. Other than that, it's completely the same. And I'm not keeping it, I got it for a friend of mine that wanted one. Yeah, I definitely like the way how they're doing mobile ordering with the popcorn buckets this year. It makes things so much easier. Okay, I have to say, I love the Odyssey building with the Figment Inspiration Station. That was a Figment fan's dream right there, seeing some old stuff from the from the like, the original Journey Into Your Imagination. Seeing the animatronic in there. Or the famous rainbow hallway that Michael Jackson walked through, they had a little tribute to that. It's just so amazing in there, I really liked it a lot. So yeah, the Figment Inspiration Station at the Odyssey Building, 100% recommended to any huge Figment fan. And also to the specialty food they had in there was pretty decent as well. That I've, The rainbow cake I had was decent, and then the grape smoothie, oh my god, that was really good. Alright, now I think we're going to go to, now we're to, go to Creations and go take a look at the Festival of the Arts merchandise. Alright, we are at Creations, and now it's time to go look at the Festival of the Arts merchandise. And the first thing we see is a Disney Munchlings. Honestly, I'm not a fan of these. I think it's kind of strange. They look cool. And there's not even a price on it. Yeah, it's supposed to be figment. But like, ooh. Where's the pins at? Is that oh, sure, it's, but it's like 17 bucks. 17 and then you have your magic band. Look at that. Merchandise coming to you. Amazing. This is this, this is the year on it though, right? 2023? Yeah. Uh, this is probably my favorite thing out of all of them. Yep, that's what I'm going to get. I really want to like the tumbler, but I just don't. I don't know, just something about it. It is nice, but it's just not for me. The tum wow, $44.99 for the tumbler. Now, one thing for sure, I am definitely getting the mug today. Now, here is the Festival of the Arts mug for this year, featuring Figment, of course. And with this mug, you can actually take chalk and draw on the back of the mug. And that is amazing. How much is the mug? 25 bucks. Okay, I'm definitely getting that today, for sure. This is the spirit jersey. Oh, that's just a regular figment shirt. Where's the spirit jersey? Uh, there's a festival yard spirit jersey. Eh, not really a huge fan of it. What does it say? Create your own magic? And this is. What price? Oh, $79.99. Wow. 80 bucks. Pins are there. Oh, is this one where you could draw yeah. on it? You could draw on this one. Wow. $19.99. That's cool. Is there only two styles of pins? Yeah, I got one that worked on here. I do like this one. Create your own magic festival of the arts. I might get this, especially that it doesn't have the year on it. $17.99. So that's all the merchandise I saw here at Creations, but we are going to go to Port of Entry to see if we did miss anything. But I definitely want to get the mug and the pin for sure. <laughs> Here's the basil line for the magnet. I already got it. <laughs> figment? Yes, let's go on Figment. Just because of how much Figment is featured in this festival, it's just becoming a top favorite festival of mine. I love it a lot. At Festival of the Arts, they have a thing where you paint murals of Figment like in this area, which is really cool. And honestly, this is amazing because the cost of it is free. So we have to do this. Now these will be throughout the fest these will be out throughout the festival, which is pretty cool. Alright. Hi. Hi. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? Good, how are you? So how does this work? 
this is you're going to take a brush okay and you're going to help touch up the mural we've got it all messed up um and it's um so you need to pick a color that you'd okay. like to touch uh purple um, why don't you go right after him okay i'll do purple he's fir he's first here yeah oh it doesn't matter they could go that's fine. All right. So the mural is basically finished, but if you want to just color this in a little get bit a color, darker, what color did you want? I'll do purple. Paint all the, sure. Use all the paint and just make it darker and prettier. Thank you. So I just colored the number three, then, right? Yep. Great. Thank you. Now these are just out there. These are just out there in Festival of the Arts. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So they give you the paint with the number that you're going to be coloring with the brush, and these murals will be out throughout the whole festival, which is awesome. So let's go color a part of Figment. I'm honestly surprised that something like this is actually free. Like, that's really cool. And there's really not that bit of a line. What color did you get, Green? I got 14. It looks black. It's black. Oh, I got purple for figment. <laughs> it goes to the Disney Archive. Oh, this does the Disney Archive? Yeah. Where, where, where is that displayed at? It's in California. Oh, wow. Okay. Cool. So what you're going to do is find your corresponding... So you go to your number, number three. Is it right here? Huh? So all I really did was just paint over some numbers already had existing paint on them. Or they were just like... So yeah, it's pretty cool. The fact that it doesn't cost anything, I mean, why not? So after you're done painting, you get a bookmark of what it's going to look like when the mural is all done. And it's going to be displayed over at the Disney Ar Archive in California, apparently. That's just pretty cool. Next up, we're going to go on to Journey into Imagination with Figment. And no better way to do this than with my jersey on. Actually getting a lot of compliments on this thing. I wish I wore it more. I've had it for a year and I just never wore it yet. And this was the perfect time to wear it since he's featured so well on Festival of the Arts. So amazing. Thank God it's only a five minute wait. Let's hop on. Okay. He's selling a book? Yep. Get to record this. Thank you. Put my Make sure you film it. Still the same one. Just the random page. What's your birthday? Huh? When's your birthday? December. December what? Twentieth. This is amazing. <laughs> Got this sign. Wherever you want. Anywhere on this page? Wherever you want to find it. My whole name, right? Wherever you want to find it. Whatever you want. As long as it's family friendly. Of course. So that was amazing that I actually just got to sign the Figment guest book right in the line of the right in the queue line of the ride. Like that's just amazing. As a huge Figment fan, that's a Figment fan's dream right there. So I got to see the Figment Inspiration Station today and I got to sign the guest book at the ride. It can't be any better than that. So we're now officially guest of Figment. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> And so, as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc. Imagination is a blast!
No, I can see it better. As a huge Figment fan, I do not like Baby Figment at all. It slightly looks a little terrifying. In a way. How much is it? Thirty. That's not bad, actually, for something like. I just wish it was regular Figment, not the baby one. Here's some more of the baby Figments. I'm just not a fan. All right, gonna head on to the scenes next. One. Do you see how it says exit to world nature? This used to say exit to future world, and that future world is called world nature. This is all what the new Epcot's gonna be. World nature and world showcase. Here is some drawing inspiration of celebrating Epcot. Rich. Yeah, I see it. I love this. By David Buckley. Three Caballeros. Moana and her grandmother. Amazing. Oh boy, I see it. That's cool. That's nice. So for Festival of the Arts, every booth and world showcase has certain paintings that are done by certain artists and you can look at their paintings and even buy them. Amazing. That's amazing. And it's cool that they have to actually have the artist who does the paintings right next to some of the booths. And here is the entrance of World Showcase, another Festival of the Arts, photo walk and signage. Right, next up we're going to go to Port of Entry to go see more of the festival merchandise and also continue to walk around World Showcase and go look at the different booths and the paintings that they have drawn by different artists which is like I said that's a very fun festival wow, those are beautiful for update there is no festival merchandise in Port of Entry for a Festival of the Arts they said that you can only get it in Odyssey or Creations for this festival specifically that's kind of a t that's kind of weird because usually all the festival stuff is in here in Port of Entry odd all right let's continue to go have some fun at Festival of the Arts a quick pit stop to ride frozen ever after I haven't been on this in a very long time We're walking out of Frozen. Look at this little fireplace with beauty right in the back over there. I've never noticed this. So here is more of the festival stuff. Like we showed you before the mug where you could draw on the back of it with chalk. $24.99. And here's your pins. This pin here too you can also draw with chalk. $19.99 and I think oh there is this is a pass holder one and this is the one I want create your own magic about two new items I definitely do want this one it is $17.99 we also have two ornaments here International Festival of the Arts and another Festival of the Arts one I like this one better how much is that 20 but they're both 20 $19.99 yeah cool oh, we got some magnets too nice Got a Festival of the Arts magnet. The magnet is no price. How about 10 bucks? Just like the ornament, it's in a form of a magnet. Oh, we got AirPod cases. Wow. Interesting. $19.99. Festival of the Arts 3D phone case. Apple Watch, I guess. Hmm. And here is the pass holder shirt. $34.99 for the pass holder shirt. And we showed you guys the spirit jersey before, the tumblers, all that's still the same. Alright, let's go. When you're walking around World Showcase, you can find some of these awesome photo ops. Or Festival of the Arts. 
but you can also end up like this and then it's like nah next <laughs> did you hear about the guy that traveled the world to get the figment popcorn buckets he went through the seas and everything just to get this thing and succeeded and then fell into the ocean <laughs> For dinner, Connections Eatery. Although this is the side of the cafe. But this, everyone who knows me knows how much I love Mickey waffles. Well, for Festival of the Arts this year, they have a Figment Liege waffle. And it's actually sold at Connections Cafe, which is a Starbucks. So we're gonna order that real quick and then go grab dinner. And then let you guys know how it is. I cannot wait to try the Figment waffle. Legitimately, I love Mickey waffles, but now that Figment's on the waffle, a Liege waffle, oh my God, it's gonna be so good. All right, let's go get it. There is the Figment Blue Spot, 419, the Red Connections Cafe, at the Starbucks. Alright, we got the Figment Blue Waffle. Unfortunately, it doesn't look as appetizing as the way they announced it. It's only in a package, not like your typical Mickey waffle. We'll Alright, for dinner, we got the meatball pizza and a drink. Now, this doesn't look super appetizing, but... Let's still try it afterwards. Okay, so what we have here is a Figment Liege waffle that you can get at Connections Cafe at the Starbucks. In my opinion, it doesn't look super appetizing, but we'll give it a try and see. What were your thoughts? No? I gave it a 4 out of 10. Maybe it's just way too chilly. Probably because it sits out all day in the yeah. basket, so... They but mean, I... If they make this fresh, it's a selling hit at the big First area. of all, Figment is edible. What did you say this was? Milk chocolate? It tastes like milk chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Now the rest of the waffle. Alright, let's see. Mm. It's average, at best. This will make you have to use the bathroom. Yeah. About five dollars. I think it's because it sits out there all day and it's not fresh, you're not going to get that fresh waffle. But, you got sprinkles, you guys said this is like white chocolate? Yeah, no filling inside, just your basic waffle. It's okay, it's average. Yeah, unfortunately the waffle is kind of soggy. It's probably because it just sits out long, but it's okay. At least we tried it though. Heading back into the Figment Inspiration Station. So you'll get some merchandise because Creations was out of the pins. So yeah, there's definitely much more merchandise in the Odyssey at the Inspiration Station. They have no mugs here. They have no mugs? Are you Alright, now is the point of the night. We're doing some magic shots before we call it anything here. during this pixel photo op that they have a photo pass photographer wearing a light behind you while you take the photo. I will show it while Anthony's vlogs from Orlando does his. Now watch the photo pass photographer behind Anthony and check it out. This is a pretty cool effect. Huh?
Just got home from Epcot and what a great day it was at Festival of the Arts. It was so much fun. I have to say I love all the Figment inspired merchandise and all the Figment inspired items that they have during this festival because of how much Figment means to me as a, an attraction and a character and this festival is really climbing up on my top favorite list of the festivals. I think my favorites are Festival of Holidays and now Festival of the Arts and then Flower and Garden. Those are my top three. But wow, what a fun and great day today it was. We got to even do some rides, got to try some of the specialty food items, uh, especially at Odyssey where we had the fruitcake, or they had the grape smoothie featured figment on the jar, which was cool. And then we had, the, and then I had the figment liege waffle over at Connections Cafe and the waffle wasn't great. So too, one of the amazing things about the Festival of the Arts is the photo ops. Now there was so many amazing photo opportunities that they had with, in the front of the park that had it like where you're painting figment Next to Spaceship Earth, I'm going to actually insert that photo right now. And then there was also another one where the, the PhotoPass photographer was doing like this special effect to your photo. It was like a pixel photo. I'm going to insert that one now as well. And a couple of the photos that we took today, there was just so many nice photo ops with Figment. And like I said, this is why this festival is one of my top favorites now because how much Figment is featured in this. And I have to say too, I'm very happy with the popcorn bucket that went to mobile ordering because last year that was brutal, waiting three hours just for a bucket. Now we did mobile ordering and we got the bucket within five minutes. I actually did end up buying some merchandise. I'm going to show you guys what I got. At the Festival of the Arts pin where it says create your own magic. And I also got the Festival of the Arts 2023 mug with figment on it. Such a cool design. And on the back of it, it has a space where you could draw with chalk, like chalk art, on the back of the mug. That is really, really cool. I even, I even ended up getting some postcards with some specialty art on it. This one's from a Goofy movie from Lester's Possum Park. It's so awesome. Yeah, it's just a postcard. Also got the one featuring Powerline, has all the main Goofy movie characters on it, including Bigfoot. So awesome. And last but not least, I got a Figment postcard as well. Looks like you got a Food and Wine Figment, Flower and Garden Figment. 
It's like a bunch of festival figments. So cool. I also did end up getting the figment popcorn bucket, but it's not for me. I got it for a friend of mine that wanted it. It's pretty much the same thing as last year's besides the strap. This year's strap says Epcot 40. Last year was just a bunch of figments on this strap. Other than that, it is the same exact bucket. And the good thing is we did not have to wait long to get it because of the mobile orders. Yeah, what a fun time it was at Festival Yards today. Especially that Anthony's Vlogs from Orlando joined me today, so we had a great day. And the crowds weren't really that bad, so we were able to get a lot done and walk through the park really fast and seeing what we wanted to see and doing what we wanted to do. Between the magic shots, seeing Festival of the Yards merchandise, trying food, like it was just such a fun day, amazing. Alright, I'm gonna go inside at these videos. This video is done. I will see you guys in the next one.